Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys missed any of the previous videos, I'll leave the playlist on the top of the description. Definitely go ahead and check it out. Also, if you are enjoying the series, make sure you give the video a like. It helps me out a big time. And with all that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's video. Here we go, 98 strength and just one more level to go for that 99. Dag enough task completed. I officially made the best deal of my life. A shout out to Thick Wagon for a free four spot crab spot. Let's go, bud. <laughs> Another session of AFKing is done. We got from 83 to 84 agility this time around. Very cool and almost 30 million fishing XP. It's time to go on and do more Slayer, get that to 95, and then after that work on 90 magic, as I said in my yesterday's video. So then we can complete all the elite diaries. Here we go, 95 defense, and we are still 121 combat, back on shared real quick, getting, yeah, not really close to 99 strength, but soon we're gonna be less than 1 mil away, and we're also very, very close to 80 prayer. Here we go, a task that uh, I haven't had yet on the account, I believe, 91 red dragons. What we can do is just kill red dragons and then save the bones... Or I could use the bones on an altar right there, but I would first need to sacrifice a bunch of bones. So it's a bit of a sketchy situation. I think I'm just gonna mage it. I'm not quite sure. I'll definitely be doing the task though. Okay, I think I'm decided. I will be maging it, but I will not be using blood runes. I'll just use death runes, yep, and chaos runes. That I should have a shit ton of. Yeah, so we're just gonna use death runes at first. I just need to prep my inventory and we should honestly be quite good. Alright, so here's what we have to do. It's a little bit complicated, but basically, firstly, we're gonna have to kill a boss. After that, we're gonna have to offer 200 dragon bones to, dragon bones to this altar right here in order for me to be able to get experience. Basically, it's complicated and I don't have good enough inventory to do it, but let's just go ahead and fight this guy very quickly. I'll just say this, that I'm just gonna have to kill him and then I'll just attack him. My prayer is dropping kind of fast. Hopefully I can kill him without prayer. Should be okay, I think. All right, now my inventory looks a little bit better than how I want it to look like. After we defeated the big ugly looking dude, we got this temple coin. By using temple coin on this stone relief, I get to travel in here. Now before we do anything by pulling this lever, I can now go in and out of this door. There we go, out and in. We have red dragons right over here, we have needle and thread, I forgot coins, yeb empty, whatever, I forgot coins, I should have coins on me, I'll just alk some loot, it's fine. And then you can trade this guy and 10 hides, it's pretty expensive, um, at first 80 per, but then I can basically make red dehyde when I tan it, make let's say red dehyde body, then alk the body, make profit. Also, I get to offer um, bones to this altar. At first I will gain no experience, but after I offer 100 bones, I will start getting 300% experience per bone, which is the best XP per bone that you can get in leagues, so it's gonna be very good when I do this task. Also, I'm gonna be getting my magic level up, so hopefully I explain this a little bit better now. I should have coins on me, I do not know why I banked them, but I'm sure we're gonna make it work. Here we go, 81 magic, I ended up being pretty lucky, got some coin drops, so it didn't even matter that I didn't bring coins with me. Now, first thing I'd like to point out how badly the, t the tiling is on this place. You saw where I clicked? earlier it just moved me here then if you click to this tile okay now it moves like look like hello like it's so badly tile like it's so badly made like if you click here okay sometimes it just doesn't work like okay if you have camera like this you see this it just doesn't work it's really poorly made i don't know and here we go 76 crafting just using our method and i still have 68 to kill that'll definitely take me a long time and i don't even think i have enough air runes so i'm probably gonna have to go and buy more of these but uh yeah i am just uh, maging away almost on 82 magic 82 magic I am just enjoying a rice cup video while I'm doing this and apparently you can actually unlock this by killing the small ones. So I'm pretty much just wasting these D-bones. So from now on, I'm just gonna use this inventory. Fuck it, I might as well. I'm a baller anyways. I'm just gonna get rid of them. But for now, I'll just kill the small ones until I get XP from here. And once I do start getting XP from here, I will then uh, use uh, dragon bones. Uh, but yeah, thank you Rice Cup for telling me that I can actually use baby dragon bones here as well. Red dragon task completed and that was a 50 point task. So we're now at 13,860. 
60 and I think I'm like five bones away after I'm done with all of these until I can actually get XP from here So the next time around th this task will be more enjoyable to do here We go another big one. This is my contract and it also should be another level there We go 95 only four more levels to go I always love doing these you get so much XP for them so very nice I can finally reanimate Abyssal Demon Heads with the help of Magic Potions. I completely forgot I can actually boost for this. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be getting another level 80 stat in just a second. There we go, level 80 prayer. That is so nice because that is another 80 stat and we get 100 league points for it. We are insanely close to 14,000 points. That means that we could now easily get ourselves 80 base stats. I have all the smithing supplies in my bank. And when it comes to mining, I would literally just need to either do blast mine or just power mine iron for a little bit of time and I could get these base 80s done. So maybe that's gonna be my next goal after I complete elite diaries. 68 tasks completed, very nice amount of uh, brimstone keys and heart clue scrolls from this one as well. And only 300k away from 95 Slayer. And we go back to Abyssal Demons, one of the tasks that I really like because you get a lot of elite clue scrolls. So it should be a lot of fun. Finally, I got it. There it is. Dragonstone. Oh my god. We can now make a glory. I was waiting for this drop for the longest time. Obviously, we still need to get to 80 crafting, but I don't think that should be a problem at all. I have all the resources in my bank to train this, probably even close to level 90. Make a glory and then continue training. I think that might be the smarter way to go about it. So yeah, we're gonna kill this demon, go get 80 crafting, make a glory, enchant it, and then return here, finish off 1995 Slayer, and then finish off Elite the Diaries. Damn, that's an awesome drop. Can we just appreciate the fact that we're getting, what, like 6 mil XP an hour? I wonder where this will stop. Oh, it seems like it's about 5.8, 5.7. There it is, 77 crafting. Dude, we're actually getting 5.7 mil XP an hour, just cutting this. With 20x XP and crafting, I told you guys, I'll get this done in like no time. Wait for it, yay, 78. That's so fast XP, 79, just one more level to go and we have a glory. And here it is, level 80 crafting, another... Le fuck! Another level 80 on the account, which is really, really good. We ha now have over 14,000 points, which is also sick, but most importantly, we get to do uh, an Amulet of Glory now, which is a big upgrade compared to my Strength Amulet. Dragonstone Amulet, use Ball of Wool on it, and now all we need to do is enchant it. Very nice. So, here we go, Spellbook Swap into an enchant, into a glory, wear that, and that's perfect. Now I can continue on with the task, and basically the only gear upgrades right now um, come from Onyxes. So I have pretty much the best when it comes to this, and obviously Hydra, but I'm not really planning to do too much of Hydra, but I'm definitely gonna get a ring, because if I get the Hydra task, I'm gonna do it even if, if, I, if I have to do the small one. So the ring is definitely happening. I'm not so sure about the Ferocious Gloves and Dragon Hunter Lance. I might kill like a hundred Hydra on this account, but I don't think I'll be going for more than that. 69 tasks completed and I actually forgot to switch back to the other spellbook. I also ended up getting a lot of elites. I banked one in uh, earlier, but I probably got what, like over 20 elites in that task. So that is very, very nice. So, here's the thing about Iron Dragons. I haven't done Metal Dragons yet. I don't have Dragon Plate Skirt yet. I don't have Visage yet. Alright, fuck it, we're doing it. Here we go. That was totally not worth the 10 points, but it's okay because we have completed 70th task in a row. Got a nice amount of points there. Almost enough for a rune pouch. Um, but we are now on 14,080 points, which is, I guess, quite okay. There it is, finally, 95 Slayer, which means we can now go ahead and kill Hydra for the elite task. And then after that, a very simple grind to 86 magic, so we can finish doing the Apatol teleport tablet. And uh, I always get fucking confused, man. But here we have it, a Hydra is now defeated. Um, we get Hydra bones, but most importantly, we have completed the elite diary task. Which is amazing, because now there's only one thing left. If we take a look at my achievement diary, all I need to do is... Uh, I said it many times, uh, but all we need to do is just uh, create an Apatol teleport tablet. We need 86 magic with a boost. So the best way to train this will be through the library. So all I'm gonna do really quickly is I'll take my um, 
arrow shafts and feathers so I can get my fletching up as well while I do it and we're gonna grind that out in a couple of minutes. I guess maybe an hour, we'll see. Anyways, let's see, how much XP? We get 9,000 per book. Wait, that's so much XP actually. No, alright, here we go, here we go. There it is, there's the first one. Level 83. I'm not gonna say that, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man, but like, dude, dude, how is this balanced, man? 84 and only two more levels to go. Oh, man, I love doing this. This is my favorite thing to do in the game. Oh, my God, the experience. Thank you very much. 85 magic. Well, I have enough XP here to finish it off. However, since I have that many book in my books in my inventory, I'm actually just gonna finish like one more trip to get more XP. But there it is, 86 magic. We can now boost and make ourselves an Apatol teleport tablet, which is the last thing that we need. And yeah, let's just go right ahead and do it. Um, pretty excited, honestly. All right, here we go. All this grind for this Apatol teleport tablet create. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed Elite Kebos, Korant Castle, whatever, diaries. Oh man, the rewards for these are absolutely amazing. Now, firstly, we're gonna get a lamb that's gonna give us so much XP that it's actually ridiculous. So if we talk to um, Ellie right here, we get a lamp and we put this lamp onto Herblor. I'm very decided, I don't want agility anyways, because I'll get it up to 99 with uh, jumping or whatever. But I do want this Herblor XP. Oh, this is gonna be so good! One million experience! Oh my god, dude. One million. 87 Herblore. Almost 90. That would definitely be worth it. It would definitely be worth it to go for 90 Herblore in the very near future. Um, but yeah, and the most importantly, we end up getting the Radas Blessing, which pretty much means that we can teleport to the Slayer Master infinite amount of times. I'm just gonna grab a few of these. I don't know why, but look at this. Boom, Mount Karulum, I can come here literally infinite amount of times, it feels good, and uh, also we have completed the 250 League Point task, so that pushes us over to 14,330 points. So right now, for the next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be killing small Hydras for blue Mystic Bottoms, and I'm also gonna be starting to raid more frequently. So currently I'm waiting for some people to scout a raid and then we're gonna do a raid. But in the meantime, we're gonna kill some Hydras and hopefully get some good loot. Okay, here we go, here we go. Nice, good job, good luck. And now we milk. Please, 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 no. Wait, let me see. Wait, you guys both got the same drop. Wait, I got Mahogany and Torstal, bro. Oof. I'm like a baller, baller now. Okay, I guess it is time to, you know, grind out the blue Mystic Bottom piece, just so we are then able to complete every single clue scroll in the game. When it comes to raids, though, I'm coping completely fine without any PVM relics, so I think I'll be doing a hundred in total. I think I mentioned that earlier. Okay, so in the past I would be saving points in order to buy a rune pouch mainly, but then I realized when I'm raiding, since I have missed staff, I don't actually need rune pouch. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel a couple of tasks, even though if they're pretty good ones, um, and try to get myself a hydra task. I'm not gonna spend too many points though, but let's just try and give it a shot and see how much we need to cancel in order to get it. Enku, no. Alright, I'll do three more. Dust Devils, okay, no, I'm never skipping Dust Devils, they're freaking amazing, and in order for me to continue Slayer, I will first need to train Hunter, get Chains, and then throw Chains at the Dust Devils, so, yeah, Dust Devil option is not an option at the moment, um, we are gonna go and just try to range Hydras, because I think it's gonna be better than meleeing them. Another awesome thing about having elites done is I can now claim 80 dynamite every single day So that is another very big positive because they are never the diamond is just never in stock I think I'll first finish smithing maybe go all the way to 80 I don't know if I have enough supplies and then I'll also finish uh, my mining Just so we can you know nicely round out all the stats to base 80s and probably get very close to 15,000 total this video was once again brought to you by my supporters, so thank you very much guys on the screen for supporting the channel, I do appreciate it very very much. I'll see you all again tomorrow once again at about 7pm GMT for another upload, and until then I wish all of you a very very nice day. Have a good one and bye bye.